Hello again everybody and welcome back to a new Drod Let's Play series. Uh, last time I finished off uh, Drod Journey to Rooted Hold and in between that video and this one I made a post on Caravan Forum asking people to kind of suggest to me what they would like to see in a Drod Let's Play series. Um, there are lots of really good suggestions in there and, and what I decided on was actually a structure where I do one traditional Drod Hold and then follow it by something not so traditional like Drod RPG or uh, Scal suggested his Drod Touch which recently came out which although it was made in the second Sky engine you know it's not a Drod hold in, in, in the sense that we would uh, kind of usually think of a, of a Drod hold. Uh, Zindaris as well suggested one of his projects um, and yeah I thought you know what would be really nice is that I do a you know I've just finished off a long regular drod hold in, in Journey to Rooted Hold and I mix it up by doing a um, something a bit different and, and as you can see here I've got drod RPG. Uh, Hyperme suggested that I look at um, Hold Anonymous. Uh, I checked that out but the uh, difficulty is pretty high and, and although I definitely will do that in the future uh, I haven't played Drod RPG in a little while, and although I consider myself to be pretty decent at RPG, you know, I want to kind of warm myself up to it first before I just jump straight in with probably the hardest um, Drod RPG hold, which is which has been published. So that's why I'm here in, as you can see, the second half of uh, Drod Tendry's Tale. Um, and now, as to why I didn't do the first half over the second half. Uh, Honestly, I think the second half is a much more interesting optimization uh, project. The first half, uh, I think, because it's only attack gems and it's kind of been, it's a very gentle introduction to Drod um, RPG, that is. And so I feel like the second, uh, the second half is a much more... Um, it's just a much more interesting project, and I think uh, people who have played RPG are most likely, uh, if they if they've been unable to finish the whole game, it's not been the first half which which has caused any issues. I mean, even getting to the secret um, secret rule eight is, and finishing that off is pretty trivial to be honest. But the second half is is much more interesting, I think. And I thought, you know. I can use this opportunity to showcase some of the techniques that you would use when optimizing a kind of whole uh, Drod RPG hold. Uh, Kieran Miller's done some great videos on in, on optimizing individual score points, um, but doing an individual score point is completely different from doing a whole hold. And I'll show you. It's not going to be blind because, um, as you can see, I I have finished this hold many many times before. But I'll show you some kind of basic optimization techniques and how I make decisions. And then in Hold Anonymous, you'll be able to see me do a completely blind um, run through of a hold. And and because um, I I have never played that before. Uh, so yeah, I think also I'm going to take this opportunity to see if I can beat my high score. And I'm I'm aiming for the final or pretty much the final score point in um, in. Uh, the second half of Tendry's Tale, which is the defeated sc Slayer uh, score point. Now, I'm currently fifth. I think I'm about 95% optimal. So I'm going to try and beat that. I'm going to try and get 96, 97% optimal. Uh, I doubt I'll be able to get a new high score for that score point. You know, the the top guys are really, really pushing it uh, in terms of how well they've optimized the whole of this hold. So that's something to aim for, at least. Uh, even if not, I think it will still be a good uh, method, a good kind of showcase of of how you would, or how well how you would in particular optimize Drod RPG, but general optimization techniques, particularly in a hold where you've got a mix of stuff. You've got uh, obviously both attack and defense gems, which which makes things a bit harder. You've got uh, the um, machines to give you uh, stat boosts, which obviously make for a more interesting experience. I'm not sure necessarily. Um, they do make it harder to optimize it, and generally in user-made holds, I don't like having them so much because, uh, yeah, it can mean that you have to kind of reset all the way back if you end up using uh, like a, a machine too early. But I think for 
kind of the mechanism is very well understood now in the second half of Tendry's Tale, so I'll forgive them. But generally, I prefer to to have just a straight uh, kind of progression in terms of stats. Although uh, the good thing about having the machines in, in, in this hold is that it allows you to do stuff like be able to defeat the archivist without using the hand bomb. So it's kind of it's a trade off that that the developers chose to make and and it's a 50 50 i think it does kind of make it harder for uh, people to kind of get into rpg but it also kind of really rewards the people who optimize very well and stuff so it's just one of those things uh so anyway let's get into it and um yeah hopefully this should be fun uh, i don't anticipate this taking as anywhere near as long as Journey to Rooted Hole, by the way, I think I, I'd imagine I'll be able to get this done in. May home be in better condition than the fortresses I left behind. <sighs> I don't know, five, six, seven hours, something like that. Stalwart, turn back. Who are you? You shouldn't be meddling. Oh yeah? The sword says I've got a license to meddle. My minions think otherwise. They'll never let you through. I'm sure I can manage. Even if you do, I won't let you pass. It's too important. Oh, my head. Really? They took my stuff. That little man fought most dishonorably. Ah, uh, yes, indeed he did. That dungeon road is blocking my path. I'll have to fight it with my bare hands to get past. Are you with the Empire? No. Does a member of the Stalwart army look like he's from the Empire? Stalwart? Sorry, I didn't recognize you. You're not looking too good, friend. My prowess in battle is enough to recognize me. Josh, sure, sure. <laughs> But where's your army? We've been waiting for weeks for word. The Empire dealt an underhanded blow and we were scattered. I've been traveling back to Gwenon. Things are not good here. Denizens of the Beneath are invaded. We need your help. But you might rest here for the night. The Reds never rest. So the first thing to kind of look for when you're in a new level, uh, a new hold anywhere, is, a, is an equipment upgrade. Um, usually, and at least the way that the official hold is structured, pretty much every new level will come equipped with a new sword and a new shield or a new sword or a new shield rather and um, you can kind of tell anyway because getting a new sword or new sit shield will will uh, kind of by the way that rpg is designed it means that you hit a bunch of thresholds whether it's attack or defense which will allow you to progress much further than you otherwise would have uh, it is also pretty obvious, at least in the first level of Tendry's Tale, that you need um, a sword in order to access a lot of the uh, areas here because they're, they're blocked by secret rules or, or uh, crumbly walls. So, uh, yeah. Under attack. A disgraceful day. You want to kind of avoid as many fights as possible until you've got that, um, that upgrade. So, in this case, the upgrade is... Uh, I think in this room, yeah, this is a, uh, a sword, a wooden sword, and um, you'll see that we, we kind of want to be avoiding as many fights as possible until we get that, and then from there, we're just going to get the upgrades we need in order to get the wooden shield, which is uh, in this room. Um, although that is, as you, you can see, it's a long way away from us right now. Uh, generally, I also try and avoid picking up at any um, potions that I ca that I come across unless I absolutely need them. Uh, this is just because, um, although to be honest, it doesn't really make much of a difference in uh, you know for most of this hold. And also, I think, for example, user-made holds are generally moved away from. I think. Uh, my understanding is they've generally moved away from having things which damage you by a percent of your health. But if they use Omplik, um, if there is hot tiles like there are in this half, the, in, um, or in, not just in this half, 
in uh, Tendry's Tale in general. Uh, if um, bombs are used, uh, and in Tendry's Tale, bombs do 100% of your health, so they kill you. But I think you can set a bomb to do, you know, 50% of your health or whatever. Um, you know, you, you're going to... A lot of the time, it's better to have um, low amount of HP, I suppose. Uh, just because then you're not going to be stung by these big, hard-hitting on click or whatever. So... Yeah, that's generally why I leave potions behind. Uh, obviously, if you're optimizing in, an individual score point, then you aren't going to want to do that. But if you're optimizing a score point right at the end of the hold, then you can come back and mop up anything you've left behind as and when it happens. It's an amazing. This has never happened before. Most of the inhabitants of this area... Nobody is allowed fast. For their own safety. I don't need to watch out for my own safety. Now, obviously, one thing that you can do in uh, Drod RPG, which you can't do in traditional Drod, is, is lock doors. So, as I'm sure you know, you can do draw door tra traversal like this, which doesn't come up loads in the second half of uh, Tendry's Tale, but it, it, you know, comes up occasionally. And you just want to make sure that you save pretty regularly as well. Hey, everyone must go underground. This is my home. Now, one thing I've I never quite... That is half, right? I'm that is half, isn't it? And I, want to die here. it would be I presume to die so. Pleasant memories of what you love, rather than seeing it all destroyed. Come with me. I'm not afraid of pirates or your empire. No, not the pirates. It's worse than that, or anything you can imagine. Especially then, I want to stay and protect my home. You don't understand. You need to be taken care of. I'm not leaving. It's for your own good. Let me go. You can't force me like that old man, can you? You'd best go underground too, Stalwart. No way. We'll come for you next. You'll thank me later. Um, so obviously... Uh, there is nothing else I can do apart from grab this um, yellow key behind this brain. Uh, that's just kind of how the, f the very first bit is laid out. And again, you know, we can't we can't get a yellow key for this. And even if you, we did, uh, this roach only does um, 60 HP. And uh, yellow key is worth 400 HP. So that's something just to keep in mind. I always think in terms of score. Need a sword to get ready for. That's what they all say. I have one locked in storage in the dwelling to the north. So, I have a storage. You've seen the nether folk running around, haven't you? It'll block your way so you can't interfere. I marked the storage vault on the map. Um, so, yeah, he marks uh, this room above us. And, and like I say, the first thing we want to do is get straight there. Uh, we're going to need... Well, let's have a look. I think we need a green key. Um, although the uh, the um, pressure plate might be... No, no. So we are going to need a green key. Um, so let's load up just before the... Uh, just before we killed that last brain. And... Uh, let's have a look. So there's a green key here. Um, if we just if we just have a look around, uh, we can see where the where the keys are. Uh, I can tell you now that brains are the easiest monster to kill when they're you know in the whole dungeon. So um, you know this is what what we're gonna want to do. We're wanna, gonna want to kill this brain, grab this green key, and and this is actually the only green key available to us anyway. So. Um, we're going to have to grab that green key and then we will uh, go and deal with everything up here. So you can see just a simple check. Uh, for one, 
this is something which kind of I think is important to note. Just because something is close to an attack threshold doesn't mean you should necessarily leave it out. We have to kill one of these, one of this brain or roach before um, before getting this uh, uh, this wooden sword. So you know. It doesn't matter whether the, whether the attack threshold's coming. What the only thing that matters is what does more damage to us, and the brain does less than the roach, so we go through the brain. Um, the attack threshold when you have to kill a monster makes no difference at all. Um, and you might think, well, I could could have gone here, got this gem first. Uh, but no, no. The best thing to do is just to um, just to get to this as soon as possible. Uh, now, what do we do here? Well, um, we don't want to use yellow key on this door. Uh, as I say, yellow keys are te worth ten score, and uh, ten score is the equivalent of four hundred health. So. Provided it costs less than 400 health to go through a yellow door, um, we will always take the health option. Um, now, we do have a question here as to whether we want to do the roach first. Um, and kind of if you're not sure, I would recommend just trying things. Should we do the brain the brain first? We, we can see our HP now is 214. We do the brain and then the roach, and we finish off with 122 HP. If we do the roach, just the roach, then we finish off at 34 HP. So clearly it's better to do the brain and then the roach. So we're killing an extra monster, but we're actually ending up in a, in a better position than we were before. So now, wooden blade acquired. We'll stop you. So the, uh, the next aim is the um, wooden shield all the way up here uh, so now we kind of want to think about um, the order that we will do things uh, you can see that um, even if we uh, get rid of the brain attack thresholds remain the same regardless of whether you're fighting something which is brained or non-brained the only difference it makes is um, how many hit points the monster will do each time it, it attacks you. The number of hits you take and the attack threshold remains the same. So uh, we know that Wraith Wings will get quicker with just one attack gem. Uh, we need to fight a Wraith Wing to get through here, so we're probably going to want to go and pick up an attack gem first. Uh, this is provided, of course, that we can get one cheaper than um, 66 HP is generally how you would do it. Um, so it's just about the opportunity cost. If I have to go this way and I can get an attack gem cheaper than, than the cost of not getting one, i.e. 66 HP, then I should go and get one. Um, now, this is just an isolated monster. What we actually know is that we're going to have to kill the Wraithwing, the Roach, the Evil Eye, the Queen, the Spider, Uh, another evil eye, another roach, another spider, and then, well, before we, we're able to kind of get the wooden sword, wooden shield. So we're gonna need a bunch more um, attack gems to make both the roach queen and the spider cheaper. And since we're gonna need attack gems for those, and also I presume for the evil eye. Yep, three is the evil line and three is the roach. Then once we get three more attack, the Wraithwing will just become cheaper anyway. So we should go and get as many attack gems as possible first before we kill any Wraithwings. Um, so we've got an attack gem here behind a evil eye. Um, but it's um, it's also behind this yellow door and the cheapest way to open this yellow door is behind this Wraithwing. So we want to avoid this one until we have uh, one more attack from elsewhere. 
before we uh, before we go and kill that uh, Wraithwing. What is that device? Just shipped from Glorthorid to protect our country. Insert Greckles into the machine to purchase upgrades. Inventory is limited, so spend with care. How many times can I buy? Regulations set the cost of buying from any machine to increase with each transaction. There are more potent machines installed beneath the surface. For your sake, seek the better ones out as quickly as possible. Uh, I think uh, in Tenry's Tale, I can never quite remember, but you you don't want to be taking any, you definitely don't want to be taking any machine upgrades in this level. I think you want to take two attack and two attack upgrades in the level below. Um, possibly one or two dif upgrades in the pirate layer, and then the rest in preservation of Tweno, from what I remember. Uh, so we're just looking now for attack, and, and obviously we do also see a defense gem. Uh, defense gems are. In some ways, they're easier to quantify than attack gems. In some ways, they're not. Um, the thing about a shield gem is you just know in order to repay, if it costs me 88 HP to repay, um, to grab get a shield gem, then I need to save 88 hits. I need to take 88 hits before it plays off. That's kind of the simplest way to think about it. Um, and generally... Uh, in Tenry's Tale, anyway, you, you want to pick up every attack and defense gem available to you. So, you are going to want to pick up this defense gem. Uh, the question is just kind of when. And probably you're going to want to take it for this because it's behind an evil eye. At least hit the attack threshold first. Um, and probably also get the shield first. This is a warp. You must open this door. A handy warp point. I appreciate that they uh, included these throughout Tendry's Tale. Um, right. So we've explored everything that we can before hitting this. Uh, well, apart from this room, before hitting this wraith wing. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see um, we you know there's only a couple of attack gems available to us there's there's one here and there's one in the room that we are currently in uh, there's also one so there is also one here uh, now we definitely want to be hitting the attack threshold for um, the spiders first that saves us a lot of HP, I'll just remind ourselves. Uh, that saves us 42 HP if we can hit that attack threshold. So I'd imagine that we're probably going to want to hit that spider threshold first. So in which case we can... We do want to be picking up these, these attack. Unfortunately we are going to have to kill a Wraithwing first. Uh, and then... So what we're probably going to want to do is, is kill this Wraithwing. Grab these. Then kill these two wraith wings and this evil eye and grab these um but we you know the good thing about rpgs you can try stuff out same as regular drod you can just try things out so what if i just wanted to go directly straight to the uh straight to the shield i'm gonna pick up a bit of health and then um what do I need? I need one yellow key here. Uh, this this door this all toggles all three of those. I've got that. So I need one yellow key. Uh, remember that one yellow key is worth 400 health, so we never want to be opening these two doors. Obviously, once we get past these evil eyes, we, we, we can hit this one, so we can collect four yellows. Um, we also don't want to be uh, avoiding these two monsters, because this is 1,200... Uh, HP's worth of yellow keys. Uh, we need another yellow key there, another yellow key there. So we need two yellows. 
another two yellows. So five yellows, I think that is. Six yellows. So we need six yellow keys before we can we can even get the wooden shield. And that will also um, see us fight two spiders, two evil eyes, uh, a roach queen, and a wraith wing. So, yeah. Um, that's obviously quite a lot of, uh, of things to fight. So you can see that as the number of monsters increases, the kind of um, the worthwhileness, if you like, of, of grabbing a, a gem early on increases with that. And um, we're also going to need six keys, six yellows. So um, you can see that, like, in order to get those six yellows, we're going to need to, you know, kill some other monsters first anyway. So first thing we're going to want to do is um, is this and now that makes us hit the, um, the wraithwing threshold so uh, now this is now much much cheaper and we're not going to hit a wraithwing threshold for a while so we can for example collect these two yellow keys um, now, I will note there are flippers in this game, but for a trade like this, it's well worth the two yellows that it costs because you're picking up a defense gem and an attack gem very early on. Uh, on the other hand, this um, potion, we're going to want to leave and come back once we have the flippers because it's not worth the yellow key to get. So at the moment we've got one yellow. Um, and there are two yellows behind uh, this wraith wing. Oh, uh, two more yellows behind this wraith wing, and that actually might be all the yellows we need. So the question now is: Do we get a second attack gem from this room uh, first, or do we? Just go straight to the uh, wooden shield. Uh, so to work this out, um, a second attack gem would save us 42 health on the spider. On this spider, sorry. 42 health on the second spider. Uh, no, that is the first spider, sorry. Uh, the second spider is here. And then... Yeah, so that's going to save us 84 health. Uh, in order to get this um, attack gem, this is going to cost us 88 health. So it looks like we're probably just going to want to go straight to the shield now. And you can see how early in the game we are just going straight for the shield. I'm going to want to pick up a bit more attack because... Um, a bit more HP, sorry, because obviously we are going to need to uh, kill some stuff. I'm going to pick up the um, pick up the keys I need from behind the wraith wings. Pick a bit more health because I know I'm going to need it. And you can see now that we're kind of, we're already getting to the point where we're going to need a bit more health. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a, um, you can hack the machines here, so uh, we're not going to want to do that. But you can if you want. I think, I don't know exactly how it works, but you can't upload scores to uh, Caravan there if you do that. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. So now we are, we do need a bit more health. So this is kind of where we, we have a little poke around and see where some health is available to us. Uh, ideally we want kind of free health like this one. But 
stuff like that isn't always available, so you just kind of have to have to be aware. Uh, now you can see that unfortunately, 252 health is exactly the amount of health that a spider does. So that's a shame. Uh, but what we can do is now that we're here. Uh, it's actually, we're going to want to pick up this power gem anyway. So this gives us a bit of extra health and also um, takes off 42 damage from this spider. So I think what we're going to want to do now is... This. By the way, like, the thing is with RPG is that a lot of holds are very lenient. I've made probably numerous mistakes already, uh, but so which way do I actually want to go here? Do I want to go? I think I want to, hmm, uh, I'm never sure about this decision here. sure I think probably it's actually better to go this way mm, no 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 I think it's better to go this way because then you can just go and grab the shield straight away uh, but anyway what I was saying was in, in RPG anyway it's a lot of holds are pretty lenient so don't worry if you've made a mistake like I've made loads of mistakes already I guarantee you but you don't need to sort of worry about them you know they happen and most holds are nice enough that they uh, they're not going to punish you too hard for a little mistake uh, so you can see now that I've actually used all my yellow keys a bit prematurely uh, all the other yellow keys are locked behind yellow doors unfortunately so this requires a load and, and this happens all the time. You're going to see this throughout this um, this let's play. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to need to go, go and grab an extra yellow key from somewhere. Uh, and yeah, I should have done this earlier, but there we go. That's all I needed. It was, it was free. I didn't have to you know, kill any monsters, but the order of operations does matter. So that's that and then you can see we're gonna want to get to this chest um, we don't have the flippers so we can't come that way and then each other direction is two yellows two yellows or one yellow so we're gonna want to do one yellow wooden shield has now been uh, been got and you can see now that when we go back uh, when we go back out here stuff has become much much cheaper roaches are now free Wraith wings are uh, now only 18 instead of 28 uh, damage. Uh, evil eyes are 40 HP cheaper to, k to kill now. So everything is significantly cheaper. Uh, so the main aim now, uh, now that we've got all the equipment upgrades in this level, is we need a blue key. Uh, the blue key is obviously behind the mud mother here. And so let's just have a look at what we need in order to kill the Mud Mother. Well, we need 23 uh, attack for one because the defense here is 22. So we need at least one more attack gem and a bunch more, a bunch more HP. Um, in all likelihood, we are going to want more than just the one attack gem. Um, but there you go. Uh, this room, obviously, we're gonna if we do do this room. We're going to want to kill the brain, so we can do that. Um, so now we're going to look, want to look for the cheapest, um, the cheapest attack that we can find. Uh, now there's one here, but it's sitting behind uh, a roach queen, which will get cheaper with one more attack. A spider, which will also get cheaper with one more attack. And yeah, so. 
Especially because a spider is pretty hard hitting, we're going to want to look elsewhere. Uh, there's also a... There's obviously this one, which does give us a defense as well. Uh, the Wraithwing isn't going to get any cheaper any cheaper in this level, or if it does, it's only going to be marginally cheaper because it's only doing one hit to us. So every attack, every defense gem we pick up only saves us one hit point. Uh, and, then an, uh, and then just a single evil eye and one more attack will only save us 12 HP. So against an evil eye. So this looks like the best place to go. And this only costs one, ye one yellow in terms of keys. Uh, it's also important to note that like really for the kind of amount of hp that you're trading on in early levels like you can get well over 20,000 30,000 hit points by the end of the game so like 100 here or there really isn't going to make any difference you just got to make sure you can get through this early level so in tendry's tale this is actually a pretty tough level to be honest like uh this is not an easy one to optimize like for sure but you just need to get through it. Don't worry about having not very much health or anything like that or making suboptimal trades. That only matters for this particular score point. And for this particular score point, you're going to be wanting to, you know, stack up on loads of upgrades anyway. So, which obviously you're not going to want to do if you're working your way all the way through the hold. So, yeah. Uh, don't worry too much about early levels and, and, and small bits of health. Just kind of worry about that a bit later on. So, yeah, and then the only other attack gem available to us is this, and that is also sat behind a queen, and the queen will... Um, you'll get 22 HP saved after the next attack gem. So, uh, that kind of tells us that the best place to go and get the, uh, get the attack is here. I mean, for one, we get both an attack and a defense, so that's clearly the best. But just in terms of um, the monsters we, that we have available, we say that the Wraith Wings are the way I think about it anyway, and this is probably isn't strictly speaking correct, but the way I think about it is the Wraith Wings are... Um, they're not really going to change at all from now on, at least for the rest of this level. Uh, the Evil Eye is only going to get cheaper by... 12 um 12 hp uh, but all other options available to us will get cheaper by more than that so when we when we get one more attack that is uh, so we are going to want to go and get that attack and defense gem behind the wraithwing or the two Wraith Wings and the Evil Eye, that is. But let's actually save. We are just going to have just about enough. Uh, uh, the good thing is we've also hit the threshold for... Um, Roach eggs, so that's helpful. Um, and now we can see what the mother does. Now, obviously, uh, the mother does loads and loads of damage. Um, she does 27 attack 49 times. So obviously, we're gonna wanna stack up both defense and attack here because uh, we're also gonna have to kill both eyes, so that's an additional thing, but uh, this one attack is going to reduce the number of hits that the mother mother does by a lot. Because now, like at the moment, when I've got 23 attack and she's got 22 defense, like I'm only doing one attack every time I hit her. So if I get one more attack, then I'm actually doubling the amount of uh, kind of real attack damage that I do to her every single t uh, turn or every single um, combat turn uh, so that will reduce the number of hits um, that I take from her by a lot by like half nearly so we are going to want another attack and um, the next best place is probably here 
Uh, we're probably going to want another defense as well, so we can we can get this as well. Uh, let's just have a look around though. Lots of keys, lots and lots of keys. Key and defense gem. Uh, key and uh, just a defense gem there. Uh, there is also an attack here uh, and a defense, so this could be one that we get. Uh, spiders aren't going to get cheaper now. Probably they're, they're, th they're three attack for a cheaper one. Uh, let's have a look up here as well, though, because uh, you know. Attack, defense. Attack, defense. Attack and defense. This looks pretty good, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is the next one to go to. Uh, obviously, we do have to spend a green key here. And um, just score wise, spending a green key for two yellows, one defense, and one attack, like in terms of pure score, is a suboptimal trade. But because this attack is going to help us down the road and, and this defense is really going to help us down the road, we're going to take thousands of, of hits. Um, it's actually not so optimal to do this. So we, we're going to want to grab a green key and, and get hit when we can. Uh, there is a green key behind this evil eye. And the evil eye is not going to get cheaper through the rest of the, uh, of the, of the level. So let's just have a look if there are any other green keys anywhere. Not really that are available to us. I don't think so. I think now we, I'm going to want to grab that green key behind the uh, behind the evil eye in this room. It's only doing 33 damage anyway, so uh, it's a it's a very very good trade for us to make. Um, there are some free yellows in here. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to just pick up this health potion because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Uh, more free yellows in here. And yeah, like, these rooms are again accessible by Flipper. But I'd imagine, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to need these yellow keys before then. Anyway, so. We may as well pick those up now. And let's just pick up this, this bit extra attack. Oh, sorry, HP. And now. We can deal with this. Cool. So you can see now that the uh, the expected damage of the Mud Mother now halved, there or thereabouts. Uh, so, but but again, the threshold is going to go down further with one more attack and obviously more defense as well. So uh, I don't think we have enough HP available to us at the moment to be able to get the 1300 HP required to kill this. And besides, there's not really any point in doing that. Like, killing this Mud Mother doesn't really give us anything apart from the blue key, and we're going to want to be kind of as stacked as possible for the boss. So, like, we're going to want to... Basically, my plan is just to clear out all the level first, and then go for this Mud Mother. Uh, so now I've got that one attack and one defense. Uh, I can... I think the next place I want to go is... Well, let's just pick up the, the defense that we that we can now. Um, I might have done this in slightly wrong order, to be honest. Like, it might have been better for me to get like this defense gem first, but... Um, gem. Clear up. So let's just just see, available to us now, left on the level, is a lot of keys. <clears throat> one 
I'm gonna just want to count up the number of attack gems. One there. Two. Three. Yeah, just the three attack gems available to us in the whole level. Um, so that means that we're never going to be able to hit the uh, the threshold for pretty much anything else now, um, apart from apart from the mud mother and actually a spider. That's interesting. So that tells us then that this attack gem is going to be the last one we want to get. Oh, uh, actually, no, it doesn't really matter because we're not actually going to have to kill a spider spider to get that one. Uh, but we are going to have to kill a spider to get this one. And because there aren't two available, um, two attack gems available before there. Like, we, uh, we're we going to have to kill a spider first anyway. So, oh, there is also a defense here. Um, so then, we're going to want to go... Uh, there's only two monsters here, we're in, so I think we're going to want to get this defense. Then this defense. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, here's an interesting point. Actually, we're going to want to get this defense first, even though the uh, Roach Queen does more damage than the Evil Eye. Uh, she only hits us twice, where an e Evil Eye hits us three times, which means that it's actually better for us to get this defense gem uh, before this defense gem, because we're going to save four HP going through here, uh, whereas we'd only save three going through here if we got that defense gem first. Uh, and then through here, obviously, we're going to take two, four, five. Oh, two, four for this defense gem, and then another one for this attack. So, um, I think the order that we do things in is this one first. Uh, we could also get this one, but I am going to want to hit the attack threshold before getting this gem, because it's behind a spider, so... I'll do uh, this one, I believe. Uh, hmm. Maybe I can't. I'm trying to decide whether I want to get this defense gem first. Uh, this defense gem is going to save us. One, uh, two, four hits before this defense gem. And that defense gem is only going to show us one, two, one, two, three hits. Yeah, so I do want to get this one first, I'm pretty sure. And then... Um, This defense gem, let's just kill this, these brains. Uh, we are going to need a tad more HP, actually, just because of that um, the spider. So let's go and grab some. Uh, there is some there. Uh, let's just see where I can get some uh, I just need a little bit more um, sometimes you just you kind of have to take the, bite the bullet and take a little bit of damage uh, but this one is actually free because you can although this is spending a yellow key right now so for this score point, you probably want to do, want to do this. You can come back in here later uh, and retrieve the, the other, these other three yellow keys and plus the health. So that ends up being, you know, 
pretty much in the long run this is free and also I'm gonna want to grab probably this one unfortunately or maybe I mean I can get this one it's gonna require me to kill a uh, roach queen first yeah this is a this is a bit of a pain I don't quite have enough health to go and get the uh, to go and get this um, to kill this spider and get through here which would allow me to go and get the health um, you know up here I don't quite have enough health points to do that which unfortunately means is I'm gonna have to get a bunch of health from from down here first uh, and and that sort of just happens sometimes like you sometimes you have to take suboptimal trades um, there isn't a whole lot you can you can do about it always so that's just one of those things I don't think there's anything no no nothing through there that we can get That gives us a bit. Okay. So yeah, we're we're very low on health, but this is kind of in the we're in the position that we want to be in, basically. We're low on health, but there is some more health available now. Just sometimes the unfortunate truth is you have to get some some health from somewhere, which is suboptimal. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to to use a suboptimal trade and uh, just just to give me a little bit more health and I think it's probably going to have to be this. This is the best suboptimal trade that we have. Uh, more health. Um, that gives us 256 more, more hit points um, or 250 more hit points. Which should allow us then to clear the clear the level. Um, I thought spider was. I thought the threshold was hit now for spiders. Uh, still no. So I think I am going to want to hit the threshold for spiders first. Because yeah, I'm going to have to kill three spiders. Um, two spiders in this room so which is a bit of a shame but so we are going to want to hit the uh, spider threshold first by grabbing the hit point um, grabbing the attack gem behind here and now the question is whether to get this defense gem and the answer I think is no uh, because this defense gem is going to cost us, well, it's only going to cost us 31 hit points because there is the potion here. But still, 31 hits just probably isn't going to happen. Mm, maybe it is, but I think anyway. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you can actually think of it like that. Let's think of it as 81 H HP. 81, in saving 81 damage. 81 hit points first. I'm not sure. Uh, regardless, we if we are going to get this defense gem, we're going to want to get 
possibly get this one first. And maybe not actually. Maybe you do want to get this defense gym. I'm not sure. Like I say, uh, for the early levels, it doesn't really matter. So let's just do this. And if we have enough HP, then we can do that. If we don't have enough HP, then whatever. Um, that's just a key trade. We can get that later. We've got plenty of keys for now. Uh, now here, what do we want to do? Well, if it weren't for the uh, yellow keys in here, we just want to go straight through this green door because the green door is worth two yellow keys. Um, so this is nearly worth, nearly worth doing going through the green door, but not quite. The HP that costs, uh, well, let's actually save here because it might be that this is a suboptimal trade that we are willing to take because you can see here, I start with 203 HP. This costs, you know, just under 200. Let's see, let's see that like costs 200 HP. So that costs, this route costs one yellow and 200 HP, uh, which is 600 HP equivalent. Uh, and this green key, green door costs 800 HP. So this is sub, this is still optimal, but it's not that much better. If we come up short here, we may need to just go straight through the green door, but I don't think that is gonna be necessary. Uh, besides, um, we, we'd wanna take probably this trade first anyway, just because Green doors are generally more, it's more va valuable to have a green key anyway. Like, I'd rather cherry two yellows for one green um, than a green for two yellows, just because yellow keys are more abundant than green usually. So, even though two yellows is the equivalent to one green. Um, so, I think I'm going to want to pick up that. Defense gem. And then we can we can grab these to give us a bit more HP. Um, this is way more manageable now. Not quite you know, not quite have enough. But I think if we um, once we grab this final attack of the level we should be in ship shape uh, not quite we need uh, 189 times 2 because we obviously do have to kill both sides is 378 so we need 100 just over 100 more HP in order to kill this uh, so uh, and also we do have to go through the evil eye so which is gonna cost us 15 so we need 120 more HP, basically. And this is a suboptimal trade. Um, uh, we could get this. Uh, this is only giving us 50... Uh, no, this is actually giving us 20 HP because we don't have to kill the spider. Um, uh, here, I think, is what we what we actually want to do, though. Oh. Yeah, looks like there are a couple of places where we can where we can get that additional HP. Um, unfortunately, like we are gonna have to do something suboptimal uh, in this level just because of the way it's worked out. 
Um, this is what makes this level a bit difficult to optimize. I feel like the only way to do this level is by taking some suboptimal trades, unfortunately. Um, at least without using the machine. Well, which we don't want to use. Um, so it was this room that we wanted to go into. I mean, f first of all, we do get a, we just, um, health collection. We do get a free, um, a free potion in here. But it's only 50, so we are going to need a bit more than that. Uh, there's, there's a brain in here, so really the first thing we're going to want to do is kill this brain. Uh, now the thing is, is that with flippers you can get all of these for free. But flippers don't come until way later in the game, and we might just need to get them now. And that sometimes, that sometimes it just works out that way. So, uh, we need, we've got 298 HP. We need how much? Did I say 300 and something? Uh, yeah, I need about 100 more. Okay. I can get the 100 more from... I think the best place is probably here, to be honest. Uh, is it? Or maybe... This is why RPG is difficult at times. Maybe this one, actually. Yeah, I think this one, and the reason why I want to take this one is just because, like, the only way to get this potion is behind this yellow door. So it's a suboptimal trade, but like, you know, that's it. Whereas this one here, in order to get this potion, it's not necessarily a suboptimal trade, but when you think about it, like, I can get all of this for free without opening any doors at all, uh, then it is a suboptimal trade, I think. Because you're also still having to kill a spider. Um, yeah, I, th I think so. It depends. It really depends. It depends on whether I'm going to need any more HP than that, than, than this potion gives me. I might still need some more. Last, hopefully this is like the last potion I, I need. If not though, then I'm going to leave that one and grab, grab a different one. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you just have to make suboptimal trades. That's life. We've got 375 hit points. That doesn't feel like enough, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it's nowhere near enough. I'm going to need... How many spiders are there and how many roach queens? Uh, six roach queens, two spiders, and another. So, six roach queens, two spiders, and another. So, I'm going to need 634 hit points for this room. Stay back. You'll mess up our plans. You're invading my kingdom, Mr. Spawn. But mostly you stole my stuff. I demand satisfaction. I don't want to fight you. I must save yeah. my country. We are the ones who are saving your country. Yeah, so I'm going to need 250 HP more to kill him anyway. So, yeah, I mean, that kind of suggests that maybe I'm going to have to use this room. Maybe I'm going to have to use this room. Hopefully not that room. Uh, just because um, I can use this room. Just because there aren't, there just aren't that many potions available to us anymore. So, 
So if we load back up to where we were before. We are going to want to ignore the last potion. And actually, that's not the last potion because we're going to need a different potion. Um, yeah. Where did I say it was? Down here. So I'm going to want to do this. That gives us 200 HP. That gives us 200 HP. Takes us up to 424 hit points. And this might now be enough. I'm hoping that this is enough. I've only got one eye left. So how much did I need? I needed 634 for the nether and all of his things. Uh, no, I'm, I'm still short. Okay. So 485. I need 634. So I'm still 150 short. Damn. Uh, hmm. This is going to give me a bit more. But not much more. So I'm... Yeah. Looks like I'm just going to have to max out the number of potions I, t I take in this level. Like, I'm just going to have to take this potion. Unfortunately. But that happens. I don't know if there's a better way hey, to do Max, this. You messed up our plans. You invaded my kingdom, you best bond. But mostly you stole my stuff. I demand satisfaction. I don't want to fight you. I must save my country. We are the ones who are saving your country now. That makes no sense. Get out of my way. Critters, stop him. Cool. You need to be taken care of. Uh. Ah, you'll ruin everything. That was clearly wrong. Whatever it just flashed up was clearly wrong. I don't know if the spider's broken or something. Well, I'll have to have a look manually and check myself. I've got to follow him. I'm sure he'll lead me to where the people went. And then... A bit more attack. A bit more defense. A yellow key and a potion. And yeah. For now, that's kind of what we're going to leave this uh, level at that. Obviously, there are a few more resources available to us if we really want them. Um, yeah. But for now, like everything else is we don't really want to take. So, yeah. This was the first episode of Draw RPG Tenry's Tale, second half. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one and, and uh, we'll get on to the next level in the next episode.